Good morning, everyone. Good morning. This is TK with Coffee and Conversations. I want you all to start coming in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. I am here. I am ready to rock and roll this morning. Come on in. That's right. Invite somebody. We have some music today, as promised, by Kim Burrell. The song simply says, Thank you, Jesus. I'm so excited this morning. Come on in. Invite a friend. I am going to tell you first and foremost that we are so excited because we certainly support businesses and uh, ventures of individuals. I want you to know that I am wearing um, Urbanista lipstick by uh, my line. It's Dollface by TK. So if you have something you would like me to promote, wear um, or showcase for you on my show, please let me know and I will be definitely um, excited to do that for you. I see you coming in. Good morning, love. Uh, Vincent Carter, how are you? I love you. I love you so much. Demetria, come on in. Come on in. Her name is Demetra, but uh, most of us call her Demetria. I love you so much. How you doing? Kimberly Crockett, what's up? Come on in. Listen to the music. The song is Thank You, Jesus by Kim Burrell. When we think about the blessings that have been bestowed upon us, the only thing we can say is thank you, Jesus. So um, this morning, I want you to come in. I invite you all. Um, I'm going to give you a few more minutes to come on in. That's right. Share, share, share this video. Share this video. It's going to be enlightening. It's going to be fantastic. My parents are in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And this morning, uh, they have figured out on their device how to watch coffee and conversations with TK. So what's up to my mother and father in Colorado Springs, Pastor and Mrs. Earl Peterson. Also to my nieces, Trey Shell and Madison and my nephew, Kyler. Blessings to you all. They said they're watching with me, so I'm excited. Hey, my cousin is on. What's up, Keisha? Come on in, Jessica. Hey, yes, if you need some marketing done, Jessica Grace White is the person. Go visit her, look at her page, and check her out. She has some amazing things for you. Phaedra, hey, everybody, come on in. I'm so excited. Kamisha Britt, Thomas Bristow, longtime friends from Germany. That's white. Right, we were all overseas together. We grew up together, and we're just excited. Hey, Cedric, come on in, come on in, come on in. Yes, love the hearts, love the hearts. Oh, those red hearts, they match my outfit this morning. It's 946, and you know in my normal custom, I love, love, love starting at 945. But this morning, I want to give some things are going on. There are a lot of things going on in the city, and I just want to give you just a few more moments to come on in. I'm excited to share with you today, and Thank You Jesus is playing in the background by Kim Burrell. So enjoy that. Enjoy that. When you get a chance, check her out. Everybody loves, hey, everybody, I see your hearts, I see your hearts. Oh, y'all got me so excited, so excited this morning. All right, it's time to get started. I want to welcome those who join me frequently and those who um, are new to Coffee and Conversations. Blessings to you all. I'm so excited that you're here. Oh, look at those hearts. Y'all, y'all going to make me cry early this morning and I put on my makeup uh, this morning. I don't want to cry, but y'all are getting ready to make me cry. I love the hearts. Thank you so much. Everyone who's on, invite a friend, like, love, share. Let me know how you're doing out there. If you have embarked on new business, please let me know. I thank you for sharing your information with me. I am so intrigued by entrepreneurs. And please do not be distracted uh, by the fact that I am a manuscript um person and so I do have notes and they help me to stay focused and they help me to stay um, on target and I want to make sure that we are bringing not only a um, a message but it a message in a professional manner so it's time to start coffee and conversations keep giving me those hearts keep liking keep loving and certainly share this with a friend it is going to be phenomenal and it is going to bless you it is my prayer 
Blessings to each of you. Um, this morning, the topic is entitled, Change Me. Somebody just typed the word change. Change, change. Change is the only constant thing that we have in life. It sounds extremely oxymoronic, but it is the only consistent thing we have in life. That is change. As most of you looked at the flyer, you may have noticed the picture of a change jar. You also noticed a book and you also noticed a credit score. It's the computer um, simulated credit score that um, we will now segue into discussion from. All of us are aware of how important our credit is as it indicates our level of responsibility and our range of stewardship over our finances. It guides or dictates how others, A, lend us money, how they project what neighborhoods we will stay in, uh, the types of cars we will drive, the schools in which we will receive our education. And the most important for entrepreneurs, how banks or investors will even organize their thoughts in regards to how they will lend us money or secure money from other institutions in relation to the models of our business and how they will show forth good favor in giving us startup money or startup funds and opening specific accounts for us. Let me interject right here that there are some banks that have moved away from checking the check systems to open accounts to now pulling what is known as a soft credit report. A soft credit report, yes, because most of us now are no longer writing checks, so there's not really um, much on check system, so you're not really per se bouncing checks, but um, they are now pulling credit reports to open something as small as Christmas Club and savings accounts. So do be aware that your credit is extremely important, and that is why we must check our credit and make sure that we have made strides to clean it up. From our last Coffee and Conversations topic entitled Clean It Up, I have received uh, plenty of people who said, listen, TK, I've started cleaning up my credit and these are the results. I just spoke with my husband who showed me that his credit score jumped almost 25 points just from making uh, simple changes to his credit. So it is not a game. Please get that credit in check. Get it in line. I've received testimonials of how people signed up with Credit Karma. Creditkarma.com is free. You can check your credit there. You can keep up with your credit score. You can even dispute uh, your credit. And the lender or that creditor must respond within 30 days. Um, and then they have to make a decision on whether they will accept your dispute or not. So, hey, get out there. CreditKarma.com is completely free. Sign up for it. Consistently check your credit. It is one of the portals that do not count against your credit score when you are checking your credit. So kudos to those who are taking charge of changing the course of their credit scores. Today, I really, really want to interject our minds with the word change. I see most of you have typed the word change and you're still inviting your friends and your neighbors. So now... The first change we're going to discuss today is that loose change. Yes, yes, yes. That loose change that we all take for granted. This is one of my change jars. Um, the amount of change that's found in the bottomless pits of our purses, in and under our couches, in the mid-range corridors of our cars, in the crevices of that nice recliner, in our winter coats. Yes, all of that loose change. You even find change in the wash machine. I know I do. I love washing behind my husband because, honey, listen, he leaves all that change in the pockets. So, listen, I want you all to start gathering that change. Hello, everybody. Come on, get that change. Get that change. I want you to commit to change jars. You can either have all silver in one and all bronze in another, but what I want you to do is to commit to not throwing and giving change away. Somebody type, I will commit to change. And that is that loose change that I'm talking about. I remember once, this is my personal story, I remember once, and again, I'm going to show you a change jar. I want you to understand, this is just one 
of my change jars. They can be as elaborate as something like this uh, or a, a box or a cup, whatever it is. I want you to commit to getting that change. Get that change. I remember saving my change once and I went into the teller and the teller, after running my change before we became highly sophisticated and can do it on our own inside of grocery stores and not have to go into banks to run change, I was handed a slip by the teller that told me that my change totaled $700. I nearly fainted in the bank. I thought they were going to have to call in the paramedics because I was so flabbergasted to find out that I had collected $700 in loose change. Did you hear what I said? Yes, ma'am. It was change. I didn't need the $700 at the time. However, I went and I cashed it in and to my surprise, $700 immediately changed my net worth. What did I just say? $700 in coins, in change, changed my net worth. Oh, we're going somewhere today. I want you to stay with me here. I want you to type change makes a change. Change makes a change change. If you have a change jar, if you know how uh, to sophisticate it, a, a sophisticated method to keep change, type it there. I want to go back and read how you're saving your change, but I want you to type change makes a change. In that very moment, the change that I had secured in my change jar changed my net worth. I really did not need it. I was curious as to how much was in my jar. So I went and cashed it in. $700 later, my net worth was changed. So I want you to understand you can commit to favoring yourself. If you want to give yourself a gift, get in those purses, get in those coats, get in that wash machine. I mean, if you see change laying on the street, I want you to pick it up and commit to putting it in a change jar. Yes, hashtag CMAC. Thank you so much, Tracy. Change makes a change. Next, we're going to speak about net worth. Now, I'll just let you know that in moments, my net worth changed by $700. What is your net worth? You're asking me, what is my net worth? Your net worth is your assets minus your liabilities. Your assets minus your liabilities. This means that the money you have versus the money you owe is your net worth. Now, most of you all have probably uh, just fainted because you just realized that your net worth is negative. I understand where you're going. And listen, that's okay. Most of you are going to have to drink a strong Coca-Cola or go get you a good Dr. Pepper or one of those good slushies from Sonic after you understand that your assets and your liabilities really, really do not match and your net worth is somewhat negative. But that's all right. We're getting ready to help you out with that. We are getting ready to what change the course of our net worth. Be honest enough to admit that something must change. If your liabilities are more than your assets or if you owe more money than what you have, it is time to change your net worth. Now, how do you change your net worth? We change our net worth, W-O-R-T-H, by changing our net works, W-O-R-K-S. Did you hear what I said? You can change your net worth by changing your net work. Stay with me. Listen, there is a strong saying out there by the community of those who are millionaires that state rich people build networks. Poor people look for work. Rich people build networks while poor people look for work. So in order to change your net worth, you must change your network of people. This means that you must commit to surrounding yourself with people who are financially successful. This definitely says that you must be the weakest link in the group so that you can be stretched 
with information. You are worth being poured into. Do you believe that? You are worth being poured into. Come on, share that. I am worth being poured into. You must surround yourself with those who are in the circle of millionaires. They have a very different conversation than those who are living from check to check. Millionaires have a very different tone in their voice. Their interests are different. The places that they visit are different. Their mindsets are different. They are not lazy. If you think that a millionaire is becoming has become a millionaire by working one job, you are gravely mistaken. Millionaires and those who are financially successful have learned how to tap into network works that help to build net worth, meaning that they have multiple streams of income, type multiple streams of income, multiple, multiple streams of income. Just a few days ago, and I'm going to share something with you, so stay with me, stay with me. Just a few days ago, I connected with a network of individuals who are literally making money in their sleep, meaning that when they wake up, they have cashed in already. Listen, I don't know about you, but if you are working a nine to five job, be faithful to that job. But understand that as an entrepreneur, if you want to go somewhere in your business, if you want to have multiple streams of income, you must work that multiple stream of income income. It does not happen overnight and you cannot be lazy. Entrepreneurship is not for the faint at heart and it is not for those who are lazy. When you connect with those who are achieving goals and not just dreaming about goals, you will see exponential results in your life. Now listen, I'm getting ready to tell you a Bible story. And it is a Bible story that we are all familiar with, but I do not want you to meet me at the end of the story. I don't want you to say, I know this story and calculate in your mind that you know where I'm going. I really, really want, I want you to hear my heart and I want you to stay with me. It is a very different position of the text, but I want you to stay with me. There is a story in the Bible about Peter fishing with Jesus. Everyone knows this story that is a church story child but for those of you who are not i am getting ready to let you know that this is a story about peter a master fisherman fishing with jesus who was a carpenter okay they're out on this boat and peter who is a fisherman he is there he is skilled he is uh, out getting product merchandise he is trying to supply uh the demand for fish because this was his skill. He went out to fish because he was a master fisherman. This is how he made his money. Peter was out in the boat with Jesus, who was a carpenter. And Jesus tells him, because he was tired, Peter was tired. He had been fishing all night long. He had been toiling for sheep, um, for fish. Sheep in the in the ocean? No Lord. <laughs> he had been toiling for fish all night long and he becomes tired and Jesus says to him who is the carpenter on the boat with the master fisherman Jesus says Peter I want you to cast your net N-E-T I want you to cast your net on the other side of the boat Peter with much frustration he debates the notion because he is a skilled and masterful fisherman he debates the notion with the carpenter who is Jesus and says listen carpenter I have been fishing all night long I understand this trade I understand what I'm doing and I am tired and you don't have a clue what's going on in these waters I systematically understand the current of these waters and I'm telling you I've been here I've done that and I'm tired I'm getting ready to go but Jesus the carpenter tells Peter the master fisherman cast your net on the other side Peter with much sarcasm says to Jesus uh, okay, I'll do it just to humor you, oh my Jesus, the carpenter who knows nothing about fishing. I'll cast my one net on this side just to show you, Jesus, that there are no fish biting at this time. I'm going to cast my net over just to humor you. Well, when Peter 
cast the net, the one net, the Bible says in the um, account of Luke. He cast one net to the other side. There is an abundance of fish now at the word of the carpenter. There is an abundance of fish. Now, listen, wait, before you put on your sound track, I want you to stop right there. There is an abundance of fish with one net. The Bible says that the net begins to break. Now, I understand the net breaking, boat sinking blessing. I shout about it. I love it. Thank you, God, for the abundance. But listen, 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 listen. Let me tell you something about this. Peter was not prepared for the abundance because the net began to break. Some of the fish made it in the net. Some of the fish made it in the boat. But some of the fish went back to the sea because Peter was not prepared because he was concerned that the information was coming from a carpenter. Let me tell you something. Those of you who want an abundance, those of you who need an abundance, prepare yourself for an abundance, but do not worry. Do not focus on where the information is coming from how the information is coming, absorb the information and apply the information. Had Peter, without an attitude, cast over nets, multiple nets, multiple streams of income, he would have been able to gather. Peter decreased his net worth because he sarcastically cast it over one net. That net broke and he was not prepared for the abundance. Now, I want you to hear that the way I'm telling you from my heart. What I'm telling you is stop dancing and shouting because you get a contract. You need money to fill that contract. You need enough. You need to know how to accept the abundance. Amazingly, those fish were, yes, in abundance. Peter had so many fish, he could not gather them all, the Bible tells us. But the net broke. Had he had more than one net, he could have reaped the harvest of that abundance. He was concerned that Jesus was a carpenter. It does not matter that he did not have the expertise of fishing. But he did have some type of experience in business. He too was a business owner. His family were carpenters. They also supplied demand. So you cannot get crazy because a millionaire only has a high school education and you've, you have an accomplished PhD. Sometimes you don't have to be the expert in the field. You sometimes just have to have some experience. Let me tell you, I am by no means a financial expert, but I am an expert in the experience of having bad financial situations. Amen? Yes, indeed. I have certainly had my bout with not being able to correctly manage my money. So today I can tell you how to manage it because not because I work for Edward Jones, not because I'm a, uh, I've been to school uh, for financial counselings and things of that nature, but because I have the experience, I can share what I know so that you do not have to make those same mistakes. Are you ready for overflow? Are you ready to handle overflow? Don't get caught up in in the abundance of fish where are your nets to increase your net worth where are your nets Peter all the Peters out there who sarcastically say oh this ain't about nothing where are your nets get your nets with an S ready don't cast over one net I want you to understand you must be prepared for the abundance nothing is worse than having an opportunity and you're not prepared for it Nothing is worse than having preparation and no opportunity. I'm telling you right now, I, I got to take a sip of my coffee off of that one, okay? This cup says women mean business. And I'm telling you from my heart, I'm very passionate about this. Your net worth can only be contained if you are willing to cast over multiple nets. 
What is your net worth? Reconsider this question now. Peter's net was only worth what it could contain. His net was only worth what it could contain. And his net broke. He had one net and it broke. Imagine had Peter just said, Woo, let me get all these nets that I can get and cast as many nets as I can get over. Come on, y'all. Let's get in this network together and let's get at this man's word. I know he's a carpenter, but he may be on to something. He, he has some type of experience in the world of business. His family, too, are entrepreneurs. Let's, let's, let's gather this network. But Peter said, I'll do it on my own, and I'm going to cast over one net. Peter, was his net was only worth what it could hold. And I want you to carry that. Now, I'm not asking you to preach this philosophy or this theological premise in your pulpit. This is just what the Lord gave me to give to you just to showcase what net worth is if you only have one stream of income. After that breaks, what are you going to be worth? What if he forgot that Jesus was just not an experienced fisher? What if he just took the risk? Huh? Stop thinking that you are not worth the risk. You are worth taking the risk. So with that being said, I'm really nearing a close, but I really want you to understand. I am not sure where you are right now, but I want to challenge you to learn. L-E-A-R-N. Learn. I want you to learn. The information may not be from an expert. It can be from someone with experience. But once you learn, you can earn. Huh. Take the L off of learn. After you learn, take that L off and go earn. E-A-R-N. Yes. After you learn, you can remove the L and you can earn. Okay, I, I saw that and, and I'm telling you that is phenomenal to me. I've been so excited about this word because I feel like someone just needs to know that once you have gathered information, once you know what you know, you can really, truly make money. That makes me so happy. Who's ready for change? Who's still ready for change? Yes, you heard me. Make money with no risk at all sometimes. And, and there are businesses out there. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Um, for those of you who are still seeking something to do, many of you have said to me, I, I want something. I, I'm, I'm not a good salesperson, but I, I just need something to increase my net worth. If you want to increase your net worth, let me tell you something. The job that you're sitting on from nine to five does not increase your net worth. You must have something in addition to that. Now, you may make great money on your job. I, I don't discount um, those of us who are um, thanking God for employment and things of that nature. Yet, one of my streams of income is going to a job. Hello, thank you, Jesus. One of my, that's one of my streams of income is going to work. So, listen, but in addition to that, you can make money with no risk at all from your phone on your own hours and, and this is an opportunity I'm just gonna throw this out there I've thrown out several opportunities anything that I hear that I investigate I've investigated this company it sounded great to me I listened to the phone calls and I have to say that it is very legit and I'm, I'm gonna give you all I know I'm pouring into you because all I know to do is offer you the opportunity some people say listen People say we need multiple streams of income and then we don't know how to go get the information. All you have to do is inbox me. Uh, there are systems of support for people who have dreams just like you and I, but you have to know how to tap in. I'm a big advocate for multiple streams of income and there is an opportunity sitting out there right now with no risk at all. Somebody just typed for me multiple streams, multiple nets. Multiple streams, multiple nets. What's the catch? No pun intended. Multiple streams, multiple nets. All it takes is your time. And with that, I will keep you posted.
on what will happen uh, because what I've discovered in this game is that you must you must jump on opportunity. I have done very much research on this particular company, and I'm not going to be afraid. I'm excited to meet uh, to meet extremely successful entrepreneurs making it happen. With that being said, I want to give a shout out to Celeste Wilson and Crystal. You know her as the sax lady, Crystal Brown. You must surround yourself with successful people. Also, I love you so much, Octavia McFarland. Also gives us great tools and tips during the course of the, the month where we are able to post this information. You must surround yourself with success in order to be successful. Stay with me just a few more minutes. A few more minutes. Stay with me. You must surround yourself with success to be successful. Whether that is people, books, seminars, you have the ability to find the tools. Listen, wealthy people... Focus on at least five to seven streams of income, but they are sold on the facts that their networks are directly connected to their net worth. I'll keep you posted on this opportunity. Um, more to come about it. When you see it, you'll know it. And I just want you to, to let you know, get ready for an overflow. Listen, when you learn new things that are positive, you are attracted to more of the same. And I am ready with you to change our financial portfolios. If you're ready for that change, just say, hey, I'm ready for the change. I want to change my financial portfolio. I want to be free. Listen, there's nothing more devastating than being bound by debt, than being bound uh, by being broke and, and you want to travel and, and the only thing you have is a mental vision of what you would like to do because your financial portfolio won't allow you to do it. Listen, I want to walk in overflow. I am the Deuteronomy 28 chick. I seriously am. Deuteronomy the 28th chapter that automatically attracts the blessings of the Lord. I am that girl. I am walking in uh, the at least the first part of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Yes, indeed. I want to attract the blessings of the Lord. And as I close, I want you to know today that I am encouraging you again to start a change jar. I'm going to show you mine again. Uh, and I, you can have as many or as little of these as you would like. They can be as elaborate as you want. But listen, as you put this change in that jar, you pray over this jar and you say change me change me I want to change the status of my net worth by changing the status of my net worth. change the way you tithe from your business iron sharpens iron and again I mentioned Octavia McFarland uh, we were on the phone and she was giving me a glorious testimonial of how she started tithing from her business not from um, what she was just making at her regular job, but from her multiple stream of income, one of her multiple streams of income, she started tithing from her business. Listen, and she has seen the Lord release blessings in her life. Now, how do you tithe from your business? And this is not going to take long. How do you tithe from your business? You can tithe from your business one or two ways. You can either take the money that you make. Say today you, um, you're you out selling or you're doing what you do. You're selling insurance or makeup or um, t-shirts or clothing. Um, and you make $500 today. You can say... I'm going to take $500 and take my 10% off that $500. And that's $50 that you would tithe to the Lord. Now, listen, you can never give the Lord too much, but there are some who will take into consideration who have financially calculated the amount you spent on your product. And so let's just say $250 um, was spent on your product and you made $500. So you know that you've at least made your $250 back. You tithe off the 25. However you do it, God has tremendous blessings awaiting those of us who just take the challenge of change. Change how we tithe to our business. Change how we tithe from our business ventures. Change how we tithe from our, um, our personal businesses and things of that nature. God is ready to bless us with overflow. He wants to do the extraordinary when he watch us work with the ordinary that he has given us. Listen, the vision 
It's for an appointed time. I want you to trust the timing of God. And while you wait, let us together mature in certain areas, especially in the areas of being good stewards over our finances. Prepare for the opportunity. Come on, Peters. Get those nets with an S. Let's prepare for the abundance. Let's prepare for the overflow. Let's prepare to increase our net worth. And unlike Peter, let us not lose out on merchandise and things of that nature and opportunities because we were afraid to cast down more than one net. Let us get in position. Change is not easy, but it is certainly necessary. Until next time, this has been TK with Coffee and Conversations. Remember, change your mindset, change your life. Bless you.